last but not least uh, uh, a quick sneak peek of what feral version 3 might be uh, feral, could be, uh, feral version 3 future, if it feral works right now um feral, feral is my 3. sim analysis tool which oh. i'm gonna call buff me in a sec but what we're doing is buff me has created this tool that's used to mess around not just with feral druid but with all spe uh, all classes uh talents and um you can use it to like you can create new talents you can delete talents you can add like different connections to talents that weren't there uh you can remove connections to talents um you do all kinds of stuff with it you can make talents four points one point all that kind of stuff so you can fully customize the talent tree and uh it's something that buffy me's put together and i'm gonna just like talk to them about it a little bit and they're gonna maybe we can share some thoughts on feral druid in general as well like maybe we can talk about that yeah it's it's a really good tool for anyone who doesn't know buff me is a feral druid theory crafter they've they've come up with such in incredible inventions as owl weaving and their new up and coming invention owl weaving dragonfly edition something that they're working on going into dragonflight so you know they've done some stuff they've done some stuff that's the github where i basically host all my stuff do you want to link it in chat as well sure yes nice 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 yeah, so chat, this is where you can download so, it and check it out. There yeah, you go. That's so the there's main the link page, there. And you basically can download it directly from this button. So that's the easiest part. The descriptions you can see are a bit outdated nowadays. Uh, I should update that at some point, but the download button always takes you to the most recent release. So it should be easy to get. And then you download a zip file and you just extract that wherever you want on your desktop or some folder doesn't matter and then you have it press the plus symbol at the top and you have a few different options you can create a new tree from scratch where there's nothing there no talent and you can start uh, creating your own tree for your own class whatsoever you can do basically everything in that or you can load a preset there's a uh, a, tr uh, a tree for every spec in the game also the class trees for the different specs the tree editor page has this the, is the good bit uh, all the this good stuff the if you actually bit. want to change yeah. up this tree you can click on a um, on a talent or um, create a new talent and you will have all these different uh, knobs and buttons you can uh, use to customize every talent you see and at the bottom you can set the connections i'll probably show this with your tiger's fury at the top like you can see all these description it's a one point talent because it's an active one with the description it's in row one column seven and it has no parents That's then sick. you can like i said you can save your tree on on the disc just for you to keep so that it basically acts like your own preset so we could save this tree even though it's exactly the, the feral druid spec tree we can save it as a custom tree the important one for you to share your custom the trees the important one you the can export import a tree one. if you have a, uh, an import string yeah that's sick uh, for that you can uh, to generate uh, such a string you can uh, use this export talent tree this will create uh, such an export string that you can just copy paste sick okay cool right so is that all of the kind of the stuff on manually how to use the tool out of the way yeah yes that's the awesome. the tree editor part the last point is the loadout solver and that's the feature that kicked uh, uh, that started all of this and this basically generates all combinations possible mm. up to a certain points limit that you can set and shows it uh, shows them to you 
So, so you I sold the feral tree now for 30 points, which you can uh, press uh, the filter. So you can go through all 800,000 builds if you want to? Exactly. But th those 800,000 are only uh, are all the builds from 1 point to 30 points. If you scroll down, you can see if right. 30 points are 190,000 different right. combinations. If you compare that to the uh, Demo Warlock, who has around 900 million different combinations, it's a bit, bit smaller, the Feral Tree. Yeah. If you click on that, you can see literally all 190,000. Uh, you can flick through the pages. You can select them and add them to your loadout, a few of them, all of them, name them. And for example, if we take like a or two random two random skill sets out of the 30 point skill sets and then we go to loadout editor we see them here and these would be two 30 point setups just random obviously they're probably pretty this bad but... this will end up being a, a fun thing for me in stream won't it where it's like all right chat pick my build today <laughs> it's like exactly pick build yeah 108 that thousand like, okay. yeah that's that's actually a good idea yeah that could be a fun challenge like yeah, a, a random be. build challenge and yeah this is also intended or the original intention was also for theory crafters to have a tool to um to filter out some stuff which is the next key key you can filter all these results if you click on the talents you have some ah. um, some flags that you can exclude. set you can say okay i want to have you want to guarantee or... it or you exactly. can exclude it wow okay interesting yeah basically in for example in, for this talent it's you, you want to have exactly one point in it or two points in it or the purple one is you ha want to have exactly one in the group of all purple ones maxed like if you basically you can say okay i want either carnivorous instinct or cat's curiosity maxed but not both which oh that's which really you, smart yeah that's great yeah so if you have basically a, a talent that can be reached via multiple paths you could basically say okay uh, i want to only use one path and the other one should not be taken we actually then, don't have any talents that can be reached by multiple. Well, I mean, I guess we have adaptive or soul. Those are the only two, right? Everything else. Uh, yes, but also we should say uh, I want to have soul of the forest, but both of these path uh, paths are pretty bad. For example, they're not, but if they were, you could say, okay, I want to have either soul of the forest via this path, or I want to have Soul of the Forest via this path. Okay, cool, and yeah. And there will only be combinations where you get Soul yeah, of that's, the Forest, that's but don't You're not waste ready for any points on three, the okay, second chat. You're not ready for but, it. But yeah, the, the traversal and the tree is pretty bad, so it's not that important for that. Then there's a blue one which says at least one point in group. Like, uh, you can select multiple ones and say, okay, of these three, I want only combinations with this at least one point in those talents which makes sense for capstones if you want to select different capstones yeah. and see if there's a tree that can fit all of them uh, in your skill point budget or not and and so on and can the red one is don't take it so yeah. you could basically do like a build that's like maybe you put 20 points into the tree and then you're like right how can i well no you could yeah you could just have the tree completely empty and then be like right how can i get circle adaptive and frenzy band in one build like exactly. how do i do it yeah that's yeah. really really cool last but not least uh, a quick sneak peek of what feral version 3 might be uh, feral version 3 future, if it feral ver works right now um feral, feral version is my 3. sim analysis tool which oh, is a tool that ex uh, that enables you in the future to export stuff to raid bots or simulation craft sim it and then load it back into ttm oh nice basically this uh, is a test version because we obviously don't have sims right now where you can basically generate some some random data and then get an overview of 
how your uh, different talent choices uh, perform. And the way it works is you create uh, different uh, rate bot runs. You can have multiple of them if you don't have premium or if it's uh, just took too long or if you remember that you want to test something else. You can load in multiple runs and the and TTM will check your loadouts and uh, your or basically all your skill sets and look for skill sets with the same name and use that to basically show you a summary of all your different uh, skill set combinations and enables you to go really in depth into analyzing what talent is a good talent or not and this is also a, a pretty uh, in-depth theory crafting tool so is, is my... this like is it sorry to interrupt but is yes. this like oh i'm simming all these different builds and every single time savage raw just keeps coming up as a good talent is, is it basically like that tests like the yes basically yeah, yes the, okay they... that's really good the, the, the idea is there are so many different combinations, especially if you have uh, like uh, dozen, dozens of new good talents that you want to check against each other. And it's pretty difficult to, to sim uh, every combination because there are just way too many. The idea is that you can basically create a few hundreds or maybe even if you have... A, a big uh, a big batch of talent sims uh, somewhere with a premium account or whatever a few thousand different skill sets with very diverse talent setups and then you load load them in and it will show you just different averages like it will show you which one was the best skill set out of all of them shows you a distribution where you can see is there like are there a, a few of them that perform really well or yeah it, it just one very specific combinations and you can go in depth for a specific talent for example look at uh, a savage raw um, it will show you you can either uh, watch the tooltip or uh, select it in, in in a separate screen and this will show you okay um what's the lowest uh, dps skill set or, or when it uh, when did it perform the worst the best what is the average also um it shows you um the comparison to all the skill sets without this talent so you can see uh, did the skill sets without this talent perform better or worse which is also a quick little indicator of how uh, of how this talent performs. If if you have if you select a Sarah Traw, for example, and you have uh, and it performs worse than all of your other um, skill sets, then it's probably a bad talent. And Chat, also shows sick. a quick uh, little distribution where you can see if if it's a pretty stable addition to many builds. Or if it's like this, if there's just one very specific build with lots of interactions where this talent shines. And this is basically a tool that should give you hints on what builds are potentially good, sim very well or don't sim very well. And there's some vis visual visualization settings that you can choose. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I like this. Yeah, this is good for like Dum Dum Brain. Yeah, it's just way easier to read. One hundred. You mean don't need good. icons in this. Green, view good, anyway. red, bad. Um, yeah, and you can select relative DPS, where uh, it's just compares to the yeah, best exactly, skill right, set. Yeah, exactly. Right, Exactly um, that. Where things like seventy nine percent is marked as red because it's the, one of the worst, or seventy seven, <sighs> but it's not terrible. Like exactly terrible it's just 22 percent behind the top skill set but it's just the worst uh, when it comes to relative dps or you can switch to ranking if you want to get actual percentiles like uh, the top 100 percent or the the worst one uh, doesn't matter it's preference or it can show you the lowest or highest um, performance for multi-point talents 
you see this is random data so ignore all the, the numbers they don't make any sense but this is just for a demonstration like you have here eye of fear for symmetry performs really well uh, really terribly um on rank one but if you show highest and you see that actually rank two is in the best uh, performing skill set so that's just one more way of quickly visualizing all the the good talents and the bad talents and you have different ranking metrics like uh, you can choose if it sh should show you the always the um the top skill set out of all of them or the top three or the top five if you want to look out for talents that are uh, performing well in many in different builds uh, yeah. skill sets so there are stable talents or you can check the the median or the average yeah or... that's good because yeah. you can test like oh this talent is really really good but only in very specific setups or like exactly. oh i just want a build that's pretty good you know consistently exactly. across all content or something because some people exactly. will want that okay yeah. so that's coming in the future when there's more simcraft support in general for dragonflight awesome and yeah this yeah. is this looks amazing i mean this is probably the most exciting thing about the tool in my opinion is being able to sim these different builds and sim sim the builds that you know you could feasibly i mean you're not going to come up with all 190,000 combinations and yeah. you know it's it's nice exactly. to be able to sim and see those common common strong ones because you mentioned it right now uh, for people that are worrying or wondering this tool will always be free ad free whatever completely free awesome yeah that's good to hear uh, are you by the way are you speaking to other theory crafters to let them know that this exists like are you uh no you... not really i'm really most of the time i'm really uncomfortable advertising my own stuff so okay i'll do it for you thanks mate yeah i got you all right, cool. Yeah, that's good to know. All right, well, thanks for coming on, man. I'll um, I'll yep. go grab my chicky nuggies now and I'll end the call and everything. But yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I was going to say like any shout outs or anything that you want to give, but we you literally just shout out your tool for the last like 40 minutes. So I think, I think, that, I think exactly. that's what you wanted to talk yeah, exactly. about, right? So that was exactly. the shout out. Yeah, yeah. enough right, shout outs. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, have dude. A good, have a good night. Yeah, you have a good one. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye.